I'm so impressed. I'm just so impressed. Um, that's fighting spirit. If I ever saw it, it's fighting spirit. Um, and that's a close match. That is a close match. Anybody who watched that match, anybody who thinks that Ermes didn't get a win, you are wrong. In a couple ways, I'll say. Two different ways, I'll say. First, when you make a guy not even want to get back onto the table, yeah, guess what? You beat him. You really beat him. Like when the body has failed, that's a full shutdown. That's a full line on the ground, having your organs eaten out of you. Okay, that's 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 a death. Okay, so four rounds win, knockout. Okay, pretty incredible. That flop wrist press stuff, like you talk test your frame, you talk about unrelenting, like, will to win. Hermes, dude, you killed it. You killed it. Levon still wins. Levon is still the king. But if he's not worried right now, well, he sure should be. Um, awesome match. Um, and I'll say one more thing. That score of 4-2, or, or however you want to put it, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, after I saw that rules meeting, I'm pretty sure, if I remember the way they called it, remember they were talking about it, they said running fouls. Pretty sure they got to choose WAF or WAL for the setup. So they could start in a WAF set or they could start in a WAL set, which meant they could move right to the strap. But in both those circumstances, pretty sure if I heard correctly, they said they were going to use running fouls and stop fouls. And that's where it kind of gets all confusing. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure that they way they said they were going to use stops, stop fouls is if there was an advantage gained. Advantage gained. And let me tell you something. When Hermes has his shoulder behind his arm and he's got that press going and Levon is stuck in that top roll, and when that foul's coming, let me tell you, there is no position gained for Levon. None. There is no position gained. <laughs> if anything, he's on his way to a loss. So to think that there was an advantage gained, certainly in my mind, the score could have been different. Most certainly. So I think that Levon should be very, very happy with that 4-0. And he should probably imagine that that rematch is inevitable. It's so exciting. Incredible match. Congratulations, Levon, for holding the Legacy Hammer. Congratulations, Ermes, for showing us it's possible. And, uh, wow. Okay. Uh, Dennis and John. This one I'll say a little bit differently. And I'll say that there is, and I talk about this, an invisible crown. And it moves. And it moves. And I'll be arrogant a little bit in this conversation. The invisible crown. There is an invisible crown. I want it to follow the Legacy Hammer, and let's hope it does from this point forward. But it, Legacy Hammer's new. The way I see it is John Brzezink was the best on the planet. And I'll just say that's where I want to start the conversation. Obviously, it's it bounced around all over the place, and there's many people in the discussion. But I believe when I faced John in 2008 that he held that title. That's what I believe. And I believe from there, I took it from him. And I believe I held it until about 2012 or 13, where I did not lose it through a loss. I lost it through surgery. It moved to Dennis Saplankov. From Dennis Saplankov, I would say it went to Andre Pushkar, potentially. It wasn't a full transfer. Dennis still kind of had it a bit, but if anyone else was going to take it, it was Andre Pushkar. And I'd say Andre definitely had it for a while. And we all know what happened. 
they were slated to sort it out in 2018 and then tragedy and he was taken too soon Dennis fell ill and the crown dissipated and it was reformed on Levon Sagenshvili. Levon has held it. Uh, he has grown in power and strength till what we just seen. Still has it. Still has it. Uh, so Dennis, Dennis is on his, on his second run. He is. He's trying to reclaim the crown. He's going from crown holder to crown holder. He started with John. Next he will face me. From there, will he have an intern before he jumps right to Dennis? I believe he, sorry, to uh, Levon, I believe he should. But we'll see as, as everything rolls forward. He might be the only one. He might be the only one. Who knows? Um... Now, the way I see it is for me, I gladly accept the challenge in October. Gladly. But I have to beat Gennady. If I don't beat Gennady, then no. If I beat Gennady, I'll continue to fight forward. So, I need everybody to help me. Not, I mean, not everybody, but... I need, I need your help if you're an arm wrestler and you're in the region. I need you. Um, there's, only, there's only a couple ways I can get this done. Um, if I'm the face Gennady, and then if I win, continue to move forward and fight Dennis. It will be very difficult. Very difficult. I will need, I will need arm wrestlers. I'll need to lead a simpler life. I'll need to put my phone down more. Apologize. Uh, and when I say put my phone down more, I probably won't be able to check as often. This Saturday coming up. So the schedule will be Mondays and Thursdays. Practice the Ottawa High Hookers. And then Saturdays, we'll do rotation in the region. Okay, so different clubs will host. We will host this weekend, this Saturday, coming up. If you're an arm wrestler, you're welcome to come and fight with us. Week, weekly, big rip. Saturday, 1 p.m. And next week, we'll do it somewhere else. I need you, Cosmic Punch. I, uh, I'm simply a vessel. <laughs> 